Romeo, join us. Girl, bye. When night comes knocking, gotta keep on running. Open that door, shout it to the world, saying, Hello, hello. Ha. Here I am, here I go. Hey guys, it's Zach, and I wanted to talk about another speculation video. I uh, know on many occasions I'm wrong, but for this one I just want to get my ideas out there. Recently, I picked up two figures from my local Walmart and Target from Power of the Primes. Elita One and Moonracer. And it had me thinking about last, I guess last year or the last part of the trilogy's female combiner team. With Hasbro, we had Victorion, and with Dakara, we had Megatronia. And it had me wondering, are we going to get another female combiner team? And I've been looking at the side art, and obviously the art features Jazz as Elita One's limb with possible Dinobots as other limbs. But... We are getting fire stars, so that leaves us with three female Autobots being a part of a team. I'm sure some of you are going to say they're going to make Chromia out of the Groove Mold. And yeah, that's a possibility, but recently announced was Retgar, and we're getting that out of the Groove Mold. And I know that Hasbro isn't a stranger to being a dead horse with reusing molds, over and over and over and over again, but I don't think it's very likely. If you go back to the episode Search for Alpha Trion, we have a team of six female Autobots Elita One, Moonracer, Firestar, Chromia, Lancer, and Greenlight. If we take IDW's incorporation of Chromia into becoming a combiner hunter, that puts her out completely. She's teamed up with RC and Windblade. She's hunting combiners. She has a super form. So that basically puts her out of the equation, if you look at it like that. That still leaves these two, Lancer and Greenlight. That makes me think, are these two coming in some shape or form? Female Autobots aren't too popular, but the sales between Megatronia and Victorian did rather well. They may not come out in the main line, they could be exclusives. Then again, we are getting a whole bunch of exclusives with Hasbro in one form or another. We're getting Counterpunch, Repugnus, Blastoff, and Retgar. So, we have a whole bunch of exclusives coming in some shape or form in some outlets or some box set. So why even talk about these two? The Search for Alpha Trion is an important episode, and Alita One is an important character. She's Prime's significant other, wife, girlfriend, some romantic interest. And IDW is definitely taking note of that. They've written heavy story into these female Autobots, especially Chromia, teaming her up with RC and Windblade, who was a fan vote to become a creation. I don't think they'll make a Chromia mold, though I think that taking the groove mold and painting it blue and adding a new head and getting her into the continuity of the trilogy would be awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen. Do I think that we have a possibility of getting Lancer and Green Light? Maybe a 40% chance. I don't think that Hasbro takes note into these two characters a lot because they're not very well known. Usually if you see pictures, it's usually Alita One, Moon Racer, Firestar, and Chromia. There's even art of body pillows of these four Transformers. The other two aren't really spoken about except for in fan art and side images. I just wanted to make this video just to point out of how cool it would be to have these two Transformers. Artwork isn't always final, and most of the artwork that Hasbro releases is done by artists that work for IEW or for Hasbro. And yes, Jazz is pictured as one of the limbs, but Jazz didn't have any interaction with the female Autobots 
in the episode Search for Alpha Trion. It was Ironhide and Power Glide and Optimus and a few others. So putting Jazz in the mix, I don't think would make a lot of sense. But making these two and making it all female combined would totally be fantastic. Um, so what do you think? Are we going to possibly get these two misfit Autobots that aren't well known and aren't really talked about? Or am I just pulling at strings for something that's not really going to possibly happen? Uh, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about Power of the Primes, Deluxe, Lancer, and Greenlight. Alright, bye guys.